And this next question comes in from Ed about repurposing older laptops and computers as Plex servers. And this is a really good strategy. In fact, for many years, I had an old laptop uh, running my media server here in the house. It was a Sony laptop from like 2013 or so. It was like a dual core i7. It wasn't a slouch by any means, but it was like a third generation uh, core i7 chip, and it was doing very well uh, at that task of media serving. So if you are looking to maybe set up a media server somewhere in your house, you could really do it uh, with some older hardware, depending on what it is and what its capabilities are. Uh, that hardware transcoding topic that we looked at uh, last week here with Plex really helps because you can uh, have some of that lower powered hardware now maybe perform better provided its Intel processor supports the transcoding uh, thing that they use, which is called QuickSync. And you can find out more information about it uh, in my video to see if that computer you have is compatible. Because of that hardware transcoding, especially with Plex, you could probably run this stuff now on like a low end NUC, even when powered, for example, by an Apollo Lake processor. So you do have a lot more options now uh, to have a Plex server running that can be very capable as a standalone machine. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including gold level supporters of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.